stability and, and, and victory and blessing because you broke, you can't bless anybody. Okay? But that shouldn't be what makes you happy or shy. You got it, I. Right. You don't got it, I. Right. Because that's not my the way I live. I'm separated from that. I'm separate. I'll do whatever it takes. What was it? Oh, the, oh, the guy was telling me, man, your boy is so much into and smoking weed and, and, and drinking beer that a boy will detail your car from top to bottom, head to toe, for $20. I said, man, really? Well, that boy will do that? Yeah, because he wanted to get him some weed, some cigarettes, some, a beer, and something to eat. And he caught me, that's like $20. He said, man, can you be your boy that? I said, man, men will sell their body for what, what, what? Hello? Men will sell their body for what they want. Men will sell their standard. Men will sell their family down the road. Uh, there you go. For what they want. They don't care. Please. And that's, that is idolatry. It can be over a cake. It's, a lot, it's there. It's there. That's why it's a sacrifice. It's a reasonable, rational sacrifice that I not go that way and go this way. He says, that, that you present yourself a reasonable, it says, which is your reasonable one? Somebody read it, it's your reasonable one? Somebody look at your Bible, please, find a Bible. Find a Bible. I'm trying to change the way your mind thinks. It's service. What does it say, somebody? What does it say, Sam? He's got his Bible out. He's got his reasonable service. What does it say? Reasonable what? Service. Service. It's reasonable. It's rational that you do this. You are God's servant. I know people nowadays think that God is your servant. Hello. God is not your servant. It's not your plan that he's here to fulfill. We think God... We got God here and he's there to do what I want, to help me get what I want, to fulfill my dream. No, 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 no. He is God and you're not. I pray that God will give us an understanding of who he is. We have no idea who he is. We have no understanding of who he is. We got him down here in our level. Imagine. We want him to serve us. And if he don't serve us, that God don't work. That young lady was telling me, well, you know, I tried this. What did you try? You tried God doing what you want? I didn't tell her. I'm just processing. I said, you got, you got, I like this religion because it mixes science and this and that. It really, I said, yeah, but what about sin? What about eternal things? What, what, what about love? Up there in the district, there was a girl. You should have saw her. Candy, you would have been, go girl! You would have ran up there and were five skinny, cute little thing, have a dress like Teresa has on right now. And, and she was like, like 21, something like that. We've got a competition that you have to preach your sermon in five minutes. Five minutes. You take a whole sermon, you got to bring it down to five minutes. Imagine. Are you going to do that thing? Huh? <laughs> Are you going to do that tonight? I got a short sermon today. I just got part two, which is shorter. But, you know, my thing is, the problem is that this is the only time I got to teach people and preach at people, so I got to do both. So it has to be longer. Because they will come out on Wednesday, I don't have to preach that long on, on Sunday. But since I don't be, don't come out, I got to give them like, boom, both barrels. <laughs> and so, especially that Spanish thing, oh my God. So she got up there, Candy, she, she started in one word only. She preached a whole sermon in five minutes. And, and, and she ministered from, from, from saying that we should live our life or minister or have our being from the love of Christ. That we will live our whole life from that point of view, that position, from the love of Christ. That's what I was looking for you guys. These guys, where are they? Where are they? And they say, Pastor, why you get upset? Because you're up there with some fools in the lobby when you should be here receiving the best that we got because they bring the best and they pray for those special pastoral services. Did you try to find that? I can do it. I can do it. But, but I can't elaborate or really teach. I just have to preach. I can't teach. I boom, boom, that's it. If you know the verse, great. If you don't, sorry. You know, because I'm not I'm not teaching. I'm just preaching. She went, boo, 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 boo. You got to flow with her. She was like, 
and she was a cute eagle hunter. Girl, <laughs> you want my job? I mean, she was awesome. But minding that mindset, you know, that that's our service. Our service is to minister from the love of Christ to the world, not to self. Which is totally contrary to a lot of churches. I'm teaching them, go up there and get your nugget. I got my praise on. I gave my tithe. I got my word. Okay, now you go out to the world and do what with that? No, I'm just serving myself. This is the thing he says. That's your reasonable service. And the second verse says, and be not what? Conform. Conform. Be not shushte matiso. That means to conform to another's examples. Hello? To conform to another's example. He said, don't let anybody make you a biter. What do they call that nowadays? The young people got a new name? Biter. That, Yo, when what? you imitate somebody else, a biter. Biter, yeah. A follower. It's just a biter, it's the same thing. And I'm a cool word, follower. follower. She sounds like white. I don't know what a biter is. I've never heard that. They've never heard that. They never heard that. You? Huh? Same word? Yeah. You act like. You act, don't act like someone else. He said, be not conformed to this world. Don't be, if everybody else is running the evil, I don't care what preachers out there getting high, hanging out with women, you know, hating, beating up his wife, stealing the money. I ain't going to be like that. I don't care how bad it gets in my life. I am not going to be, I don't care what the world spits up on me. I'm not going to be conformed to that. I'm going to be holy. I'm going to separate myself from that and separate myself unto God. I'm going to live for him. I'm going to live through him. And I'm going to live unto him. I'm not going to let that thing happen. Uh, you know how many times I want to go off? Hello? Mm -hmm. You know how many times we want to go off? Don't play. Yes. We in this flesh. But no, I'm separating myself. I'm living to sacrifice. I'm home living. I'm not dead. You know, I'll be holy. This is my reasonable service. I'm not going to be conformed to this world. What is the next world says? But I'm going to be what? Transformed. Transformed. By the renewing of your... He says, we need to be transformed, right? Yes. We're not going to conform. He said, do not conform to this world. This what? This age. This pattern. These times. If you see people, I'm just me. They ain't imitating everybody else's dress code. Amen. Everything they put on, you want to put on. Huh? If they put a, if they put a round circle in their ear, everybody's putting a round circle in their ear. Right? If they wearing these pants, everybody want to put out the skinny jeans. Ugh. If, if if they're wearing these sneakers, even though they're three hundred dollars, everybody wants the three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. if, if they're drinking shots, you see all the women now in the bar are drinking shots like they're men. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Cursing up the store yeah. like everybody else. Yeah. Come on. Uh, <laughs> because that's what the time does, and that's what I'm about. Be not conformed to this world, to these times, but be ye what? Transformed. Metamorphosed. I don't know. Transformed or transfigured by the supernatural change. And this change is a renewing of the mind or spirit. He said, be transformed. I mean, take on a different mindset. How? How? You got to renew the mind. Renew your mind. That you may do the good. He said, that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The perfect will of God. The perfect will of God. The, the, Terios, that which has reached its end, nothing more to complete it. Some people they just satisfy and they they stay at a certain level. He says, transform yourself by the renewing of change the way you, you know how they to The only way you can change this is by putting the word of God in you. I don't care if you don't understand it, Broly, you just keep reading it. Good. Keep having people teach it to you. Keep having, and that will transform the way. You are what you think. You are what you think. You are what you think. 
not what you think you are, it's what you think.